Hi everybody, Gertler from Cape Town and welcome to another video. Interesting but scary times we're living in. This week the South African government basically closed our borders. There's 61 COVID-19 cases in South Africa and it's rising dramatically day by day. Schools is closing down for a month. It's really rough times. So I'm going to do this video. It's about a new vegetarian meat patch that's on the market. So there we you sit in your home, you're locked down, you can't go nowhere. Hopefully this video entertain you and lighten your mood for a couple of minutes. 100 years ago, you know, people that were vegetarian or vegan I think they would have probably been candidates for psychiatric treatments. Today, every second guy I met is on the vegetarian or vegan bandwagon. Now, now am I one of them? Absolutely not. I love my meat. Call me a hardcore Bushian, although it's pretty much a case of me of looking hardcore, but not really hardcore inside. I've never killed anything that I've ate. Although it's not the complete truth, the other day I actually killed a duff that was on our stupid house and he just didn't want to go away. So I thought I had no alternative but to kill the bugger. But alas my wife screamed at me murderer and I nearly had to slip on the couch that night. But I did feel bad for the little bugger you know. Apparently doves mate for life. Okay anyways so I must admit the video is kind of difficult for me to keep a straight face and not making a pun around every corner about vegetarians and vegans. Because simply I still feel like people from a hundred years ago. These vegans or vegetarians or whatever you want to call them, it simply doesn't make sense to me. Something has to be wrong. Maybe it's something in the water or maybe I'll pull a trump and say, you know, the windmills cause this vegetarian sensation. Now don't get me wrong. Many of these guys, these vegans and vegetarians, they are friends of mine. Some is even family of me. So I love them. But boy oh boy, they can be a pain. Now interesting note here, not a single vegetarian or vegan that I know ever had the ability to, on a long term basis, stick to his eating regime. Every single one of the people that I know that crossed my path in life, that is a vegan or vegetarian, eventually start eating meat. They couldn't resist the temptation. So that's a real issue for many vegans out there, is this temptation that they have for meat. And this is where this new release product comes in, this slap on patch that you put on your skin helps you to curb the meat cravings. It works in similar fashion like a nicotine patch, but not releasing anything the whole time in your body. You basically use it on demand. When you feel the urge for bacon or meat, then you scratch this pad, then it starts releasing the most intense aroma of greasy bacon grilled and ready for eating. I'm sure many vegans or vegetarians is going to jump up and down about this uh, because otherwise this company would not have done the R&D and spent all this money in developing this batch. Simply put, the meat craving is the number one reason vegans fail and this is what this company tried to resolve. But does it work? That's the big question. Now I've already discussed how it works, you know, that you scratch it whenever you feel the urge or a temptation is lurking. Here is a photo of the guy. Uh, this is the guy the company used to promote their product. It's a boxer, Tommy Fury. But the dude doesn't match. A boxer and he's a vegetarian. Damn. Okay, let's try and analyze this. This company says, to stop a craving or a temptation, you must apply another temptation, like a smell from a different sense, to stop the craving or the temptation. Now, the way that I've experienced life up till now, let me give you this specific example. Let's say I'm horny. Yes, and it still does happen. I'm 30 years plus married, got an awesome wife. So for me to deal with the fact that I'm horny, I must now go and have a look at scantily clad woman or nice sexy pictures of my wife and that is going to stop my temptation. Now I'm sorry that has never stopped my temptation. My wife will be in trouble because all this is going to do is dramatically increase my temptation. These guys, this company that developed this product went so far as to get a professor on the R&D team. It's a professor in experimental psychology and his name is Charles Spence. Now he said the following, our sense of smell is strongly connected to our ability to taste therefore experiencing food related cues such as smelling a bacon or a aroma can lead us to imagine the act of eating that food. Now, Professor, I respect your knowledge, skill sets, but when I have the urge to eat bacon, 
and I smell bacon on top of that urge. It does not do away with my temptation. It increases my urge to eat bacon tenfold. Now, I believe the company and the company's name is called Strong Roots, that they're sincere about developing this product. So it's no joke for them. This is serious stuff. But I do fail to comprehend the logic that they applied with this product. Maybe I simply can't think like a vegetarian or vegan. So here I'm asking you guys, the vegetarians and the vegans out there, you know, to give us some comments and feedback on how you actually experience this product. Now, just a last note, vegans and vegetarians, this might sound like I'm going off against you. I'm not. I've got a lot of friends that are vegans, family members that are vegans and vegetarians, and I think you're a little cuckoo, but I love you guys. The big thing about you guys for me is that there was something in your life that you believe was not right, and you had the guts to stand up and make a change. And for that, I tip my hat to you. you. You did not just go with the flow of life. It's inconvenient to you, but you took a stand in life. So for that, Awesome. I'll put up the link for you about the original news article that appeared on Fox News. Okay, guys and girls, just a reminder about my three important links. Number one is my donation link. I asked for a small donation to help me keeping my videos, my information, my site to keep everything free and keep them coming. So those of you that can afford a little donation, please guys. Then secondly, my coaching system. If you want to sign up to my advanced coaching system too, just follow the link I'm putting for you on the screen. Uh, that's a system for the older guy to take him from A to Z. Put everything correctly in his life to create the environment where his body can respond and grow and then thirdly if you want uh, to order some supplements I've organized a 15% discount for you guys but you must order it through the link that I put on the screen for you otherwise you won't get that 15% discount okay people as I said this is scary times this COVID-19 situation the fear and everything around us let's get back to the roots of our faith let's uh, put in some knee time let's rekindle family bonds, friendship bonds. God be with you. Cheers. Gertler from Cape Town signing off.